Hello, this is Dr. Kara of KH Evolution, and I'm here with your message of the week. So this is an interesting week, a powerful week. We have a lot going on, right? We're bringing closure to the month of November, which has been a powerful month of pivoting and taking action and um, really forcing us to make movement in our life. And if we are a little resistant to exploring um, movement or action, it's probably been uncomfortable. There's probably been things that have come up in your life over this past month that have been unexpected, uh, maybe some big unexpected twists and turns. And if not, that, that's good, but uh, we can expect some challenges to come as we bring closure to 2021 and we open into a brand new year of 2022. So we also have at the end of the week on Friday, we have a full moon and we have a solar eclipse. So we are in the middle still between both of the eclipses. So the lunar eclipse that happened on the last full moon and, um, and then the new moon that's coming on Friday. I might have said full moon before, but if I did, I meant new moon. So I apologize for that. But we have. Um, so we have this very active week that we're coming into. So we welcome into the month of December. And like I said, we have the solar eclipse on Friday, and then we have the new moon on Friday. So we have all this energy coming to uh, kind of reboot our system. We have this energy coming in to create new beginnings and to open us up to greater freedom. But in order to take advantage of the freedom, we have to be willing to walk through the doorway and claim that freedom. So, you know, uh, all of life here on planet Earth uh, is about this uh, reciprocity, right? Mother Earth and shamanism is based in this and rooted in this um, this. Um, element of reciprocity, meaning that um, we balance things out by reciprocating certain actions. And, uh, you know, we give to Mother Earth because she gives to us, and it completes this beautiful uh, cycle and circle. And so as we enter into this time period that is very ripe with uh, new beginnings and energy to support us as we make dramatic shifts and changes and turns in our life. I want you to hear the message that we are being supported in this. If you are being called or opportunities are coming across your way or in front of you that are inviting you to make big shifts, to make big um, movements in your life that would create um, a lot of change and something brand new, I want you to hear the message from spirit that I'm hearing that um, this is for us, that we want to be taking advantage of these opportunities. And one of the best ways that we can know that this opportunity is, is right for us is if it feels right. Now, feeling right doesn't mean that we're not scared or we're not nervous or we're not apprehensive and we don't question whether we're going to like it or, or not. Um, what it means is that we have a yearning for it. Like when we look at it, we, we can see ourselves in it, uh, even though it may be dramatically different than what we're used to. It means that we have this draw to it, this connection, this excitement or quickening, despite all of the apprehension or fear or doubt or uncertainty that may come with it, because it is a big change and it is a big shift. However, that big change and that big shift is calling to us for a reason, and it's probably going to fulfill something within us that our soul is longing to be fulfilled. So and that's another way that we can look at, should I be walking through this doorway? Should I be taking advantage of this opportunity that's coming my way? Does it um, fill something that is deep within you? not the void on the surface. It doesn't just put a Band-Aid on it or make you feel better in the moment, 
but is it really like touching a part of you that feels like it hasn't been fed or nourished in a long time? That's a great way of recognizing that you're being called to step into a new paradigm or a new dynamic or take advantage of an opportunity that is coming your way. So the other message that I want to share with you that's really, uh, I feel really important and, and needs to be heard is this idea of as, as a whole, as humanity as a whole, I think we are shifting into this space of really uh, learning how to be rather than do. So today I want to offer up a question that uh, I think would be helpful to sit with over the week and really get a sense of, am I a beer or am I a doer? And, you know, for me, this was really challenging because I was conditioned early on that being, um, uh, and I'm going to describe what I mean by being in a minute, but being was, um, my perception of it was laziness. It was um, passive and not active. And that doing and um, being in motion was what was really important and what uh, was really desired of me. And so I want to just kind of revisit this idea of being. Being means that we're in the present moment. So it doesn't mean that we are idle, that we are passive, that we're not doing anything, that we're not taking action. But being means that we are so rooted in the present moment, experiencing what we're experiencing, that um, we are taking it all in with all of our senses and, and, um, and more, that we are uh, interpreting it, our, our experiences from a whole different space. Um, can you hear my kitty crying? That is, that is Moo. We call him Moo and he is, um, very vocal. So, uh, he's bringing our, his energy to this space and saying he wants the freedom to go outside. So he will get that in just a few minutes. So, um, you know, being means that we are so present in and of ourselves that we know how we feel. We are connected and rooted at that soul level, and we really understand what it is that we are uh, creating in that moment. It gives us that opportunity to know it and to understand it because we are fully experiencing it with all of our being. And that's where, that's where that word being comes in. Um, we are being human a hundred percent in that space and time and doing is really more of a mental, um, action, right? We are mentally, um, engaged in that activity. And we are there because we've been told to, because we need to, because we feel this should, uh, we feel this, um, pressure from the outside in that is really kind of forcing us to do. And so, you know, although I brought in the, the, the idea that doing is really mental, when we're doing something rather than being, a lot of times we can disconnect from the doing and we're not really present. So not even mentally are we present, right? And, and we have no feeling to what we're, we are doing because we're just simply doing. And when we go into this operating system of doing rather than being, what happens is we become very disconnected from source. We become very, become very disconnected from nature. We become very disconnected from ourselves and our mission and our, our purpose and our way of um, our reason for being here and coming here. And as we enter into this month of December, I believe that we're being called to really take a look at this spiritual purpose, this sole purpose of being here and to step into it just a little bit further. Because what we find here is this sense of freedom, this sense of being able to uh, you know, really feel uh, free in every aspect of our life, that we have financial freedom, we have time freedom, we have, um, we have freedom of choice. And so it is, although freedom is tangible, it's also a perception that we hold. And so I am going to um, 
close today's uh, session with you, our, our, um, my message to you with this thought and this question of how free are you? What is your perception right now of your personal freedom? So let's try not to bring politics into this. Let's try to just look from the space within our hearts. How free do you in, feel in terms of the life that you have created for yourself in your relationships with, um, with people, with your home, with your job, with your food, with, um, with your hobbies? How free do you feel? And if you are struggling to take a look at this, then call on um, Eagle and Hawk. They are our great visionaries. They help us to rise up out of our situation and really see the world and our life from a totally different perspective. And sometimes we need this perspective in order to feel confident in taking that next action step towards being the soul that we came here to be through this human experience. And so um, that's your invitation this week. I'm certain I will be in contact with you again uh, as the week progresses, as we get closer and closer to that new moon and to our solar eclipse. I know the energy will come in powerfully and I know I will have additional messages for you. So in the meantime, if you are looking for additional support and resources or a way to connect with me, you can uh, join the free Evolve with Kara uh, Facebook group. Uh, that's a great way for us to connect. And you can also join my um, email list. And uh, in order to get onto the email list, you can download a free meditation. Uh, that helps with grounding. So it's a beautiful 10-minute um, meditation that will walk you through how to develop your connection with Mother Earth and really feel more centered and, uh, and um, within your own body, within your own, within your own being. So there's a couple ways of connecting with me. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get regular updates. Um, preferably without Moo's voice in the background. And uh, don't forget to share this video with others. Um, I deeply appreciate it. All right, have a great week and I'll talk with you soon.